Whenever you're going to be drilling your part, it's important to make sure that your drill bits are straight. I just drilled this part with this bit. This is a 248 thousandths drill bit, so about a quarter inch. It's 2.48. And believe it or not, look at how much slop is in there. There's probably like over 50 thousandths of gap in there, which is huge. So this completely ruined the part that I was making. It's a pen bushing and this drill bit is a little bit bent and that's what caused that little bit of uh, over oversized. If we chuck this up in the drill press, you'll be able to look at the tip and see it actually moving back and forth. Now we're using this Harbor Freight uh, drill bit set. This was at an amazing price. I don't remember exactly how much it is, but it seems a little bit too good to be true, and sure enough it is. I think it's about 40 to $45 for the drill bit set. And I've experienced it with other drill bits in the set. They're a little bit bent, a little bit warped. Um, and that's kind of a big deal, as this completely ruined this part. So it might be worth it to go with a little bit high quality set. Or if you're just doing wood and you don't really need accuracy, you just want a lot of different sizes, this will probably do just fine. They cut, you can see I was getting some pretty decent shavings here. They're pretty cool actually. But if you're trying to be precise, I'm definitely having some problems with it. Whenever I chuck it up in the drill press, if I focus on the tip of the drill bit, I can see, sure enough, it's wobbling back and forth. Unfortunately, after drilling this out, it's way too loose on the pen mandrel. And that's due to this drill bit that came from the Harbor Freight drill bit set. If we measure the shank of it, it's right there at about 246 thousandths. And then if we measure the shaft here, that's at 240, maybe 250 thousandths. So there should only be a few thousandths gap in here, but this is more like 50 thousandths gap. And even if we take the shank here and put it in there, look at how much wiggle room there is. Like, that's a lot of wiggle room in the drill bit. So, it might be a combination of this drill bit being a little bit bent, which is one thing that I've experienced on those Harbor Freight drill bits. And it also could be a little bit of the tailstock on the metal lathe being a little bit misaligned. So whenever that went in, it sort of wobbled a little bit, but I think that it's mainly due to a bent drill bit because I've experienced that before.